Hello everybody, this is Mr. Patel again. Today I will be reading a book about the solar system. So, let's begin. This book is by Kenneth Walsh. Moving around the sun. Think of yourself standing on the ground. The ground is on earth and earth is moving in space around the sun. The sun is at the center of our solar system. You and everything else on earth are moving in orbit around it. Orbit is when you go around. Orbiting the sun. An orbit is the path a planet follows when it moves around the sun. Each planet has a different orbit and each orbit takes a different amount of time to complete. To read more about orbits turn to page 22. But not yet, we will go to page 6. One Sun The centre of our solar system is the Sun. Solar means Sun. The Sun is very large. It is hard to imagine its size. Can you imagine the size of Earth? As big as Earth is, the Sun is a million times bigger. Here we have a beautiful picture of the sunset. From Earth, the Sun looks like a big yellow ball. But it is not really like a ball. It is made of gases and metals. It is also very hot. Nothing can live on the sun, but it is a good thing the sun is so hot. The sun's heat makes earth warm enough for people to live. What do you think? Do you think Hong Kong is hot enough or is it too hot? The North Star is just one of many stars shining brightly over earth. The sun is actually a star, just like the other stars in the night sky but it is much nearer to Earth than the other stars are. Here we have a picture of all the stars next to the Sun. Stars are referred to as planets. You can see Earth and you can see the size of the other planets compared to Earth. Earth is just one planet that moves around the Sun. There are eight planets in all. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury, then comes Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. When I was a child, we also had a planet called Pluto, but now they have removed it out of the solar system. Planet Names all of the planets except Earth are named for characters in mythology. For example, Mars is the Roman god of war, and Venus is the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Earth's name comes from the ancient Greek, German and English words for land. Some scientists think that there may be other planets, but they do not know for sure. What do you guys think? There are special things about each planet that makes it different from the others. Here are some interesting facts. Mercury seems to be the fastest planet because its orbit is so small. Venus has been nicknamed the morning and evening star. Venus is the brightest planet in the sky. Earth. Earth is the only planet in our solar system known to have life. However, there may be life that we just don't know about. Mars. This photo of Earth, Earth's moon and Jupiter was taken from Mars with the Mars Orbiter camera. Mars has very long cold winters. At its largest, the great red spot on Jupiter is as big as three Earths. 
the largest planet is Jupiter. So you can compare the size of Jupiter to Earth. It is much bigger. Saturn. Saturn's rings. Galileo Galilei discovered Saturn's rings in 1610. Each ring moves around the planet at a different speed. Rings made of rocks, gases and ice surround Saturn. Planet rings. Rings around Uranus move vertically. They do not move horizontally like those around the Sun. Vertically means top to bottom and horizontally means left to right or right to left. For a long time people thought Uranus was a star. Neptune Neptune has the fastest and strongest winds of any planet. Do you remember the typhoons we have had in Hong Kong? Neptune has typhoons a million times stronger. The planets may be different, but they have things in common too. For example, most planets have moons. Some planets have many moons. This chart shows how many moons each planet has. We have the planet name and we have the number of moons. Can you see which one has the most amount of moons? Moons are bodies that orbit planets. They are also called satellites. Saturn has 18 moons for sure, but we believe it has many more than that. Other planets may also have more moons. The more we are able to travel into space, the more we can discover and know. Pluto Pluto was once the ninth planet in our solar system. It was once thought to be a planet, but now it is called a dwarf planet. Pluto still moves around the Sun. Orbits and rotations Something else planets have in common is the way they move. All planets orbit around the Sun, but each planet's orbit is different. One orbit is the same as one year for that planet. Mercury has the shortest Earth orbit. Its year is just one fourth of Earth's year. Neptune's orbit is the longest because it has the farthest distance to travel. Each planet also spins around its own axis as it moves in orbit. One full spin is called a rotation. A rotation takes one day. On Earth, a day is 24 hours. Jupiter spins so fast that its day is less than 12 hours. 10 hours, sorry. Axis rotation. An axis is an imaginary pole running through the center of a planet. Imagine you have a ball with a stick through its center. If you hold the stick above and below the ball and spin the ball once around, it will make a rotation, just like a planet does. Asteroids. Planets are not the only things that move around the sun. Asteroids do, too, but they are very small compared to planets. Even if you put all the asteroids in the solar system together, they would be so much smaller than the Earth's moon. Asteroids are rocky planet-like bodies that orbit the sun. Many asteroids travel together in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The best way to see an asteroid is in the night sky when it crosses Earth's orbit. It looks like a streak of light. We call this a meteor. Here we have a picture of a father and son looking at the planets through a telescope. Next time you look up into the sky, think about everything that is out there. Now you know that Earth is just one part of this big, big solar system. Let's look at some words that you may not have heard before. 
Asteroid, a small rocky planet-like body that orbits the Sun. Asteroid belt, an area between Mars and Jupiter in which many asteroids orbit the Sun together. Axis, the imaginary line through the center of a planet around which it rotates. Meteor, a stone that falls from space towards Earth. Orbit, the path a planet follows when it moves around the Sun. Planet, a large body in space that orbits a star. Rotation, the spinning of a planet around its own axis. Solar system, a group of planets and other heavenly bodies that move around a central sun. And the sun, the large and bright star at the center of our solar system. So, did you enjoy reading this book? I did. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day. Bye bye.